Gnomies and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I'm so happy to see you today. I hope that you're doing well and I hope that your families are doing well and that you're all taking care of the best that you can. Uh, I am back from vacation and doing a little bit of filming today. Uh, today for me is Monday so I thought I would try to get a little bit of content prepped for the week so that I can uh, spend a little more time crocheting this week. I do uh, need to get some crocheting and I didn't crochet at all last week because I was spending time with my family and we were just running all over the place and then relaxing at the beach house, um, looking for seashells, hanging out together, doing crafts. I have some really cool crafts to show you guys that we made. Um, but I thought I would do a little haul from the shopping portion of our vacation. Uh, so I'm doing actually a themed haul because I got a lot of, um, themed items and it is mushroom themed stuff. So I went ahead and threw on my mushroom bucket hat, thought I would do a little mushroom haul for you guys. Um, so to kick off the mushroom haul, actually, um, I went ahead and gave my sister her birthday present early, and that was the mushroom uh, crossbody bag that I had made. So that is now in its new home, and she loved it. Um, and if I remember, I will pop up a picture over here in case you haven't seen uh, the mushroom crossbody bag that I made. Um, it was my first time ever making a bag, my first time ever lining a bag, um, and there are videos about that. Uh, if you go to my page and you want to see them, uh, if you scroll over to the side in the little bar um, that has like my videos and my shorts and all that, if you kind of like hit the little arrow uh, to go over to the side, there's actually a little search icon and you can type anything you want in there. Uh, and you could just type in bag, uh, granny square, um, anything like that that's going to be like a keyword. Um, and it should come up. I try to always put relevant keywords that will help you guys to find what you're looking for uh, in my titles. So I went ahead and gave her that. Um, and then now I'm going to show you guys what I got and I will let you guys know where everything came from. Um, and if there are any other mushroom lovers like me, then maybe you guys will want some of this stuff for yourself or just enjoy seeing it. So I'm going to start with uh, something that was really cool and then a little bit sad or a little bit like, ah, really? So uh, we found these mushroom wall lights, they're LED wall lights, um, at Five Below, and we were like, yes, so excited. And then I found out it's battery pack operated and not plug-in. So that's always a little bit crappy because then it's only going to be able to be on like a little bit here and there when you like want to turn it on and use batteries. Um, I don't even have batteries at the moment. So I can't even turn it on and see what it looks like, uh, but it is really cool. I just don't know like about putting something on my wall that's not normally going to be on. So I'm going to have to figure out where I want to put this, but I do really love it. I wish there was like a way to convert it into outlet version. Uh, I don't understand why they make wall decor with battery packs. Like who wants to put something on their wall that they're barely ever going to turn on? That doesn't make any sense to me, but this was pretty cool. And this came from five below. Uh, five below, love it. Switch to outlet thingies, not battery packs. <laughs> so that was my first mushroom acquisition. Uh, my hat is making my glasses fog up here at the corner. So I'm trying to, trying to get some air behind them so that it stops being foggy. It's shrinking. I don't know if you guys can see the little fog circle shrinking. <clears throat> okay. Oh, where to start? I have so many cute things. I'll start with the one-offs, like where I got one item from a store. So this came from uh, the dollar spot in Target, I believe. Was this the dollar spot in Target? I'm pretty sure this was the dollar spot in Target. Um, it is a little bug catching terrarium and it is a mushroom. It's got little holes in the top. It's got little things to catch your bugs with, like little scooper balls, little nets little like things to grab them with and then you can put it in here and it's got a lid and the lid just screws off and you can put them inside. This would be so fun for catching uh, lightning bugs or fireflies depending on uh, where you live. I know that people call them different things. We always called them lightning bugs growing up um, and we used to catch them. There used to be so many of them and we used to catch them and put them in a jar and keep them like on our side table, you know, at bedtime and we could like watch them flying around and lighting up. But this would be so cool. 
to put lightning bugs in. Can you imagine? But I just loved it because it's mushroom themed. It makes a really good little container. You don't have to use it for uh, like a little bug catching thing. This would just make a really cute terrarium in general, which is probably what I'll end up doing with it. I will probably end up putting things inside of here um, and doing a little themed terrarium. Uh, I actually have several little themed terrariums that are like gnome themed, mushroom themed, fairy themed, and that'll probably be what I end up doing with that. That'll probably end up being a craft. So <clears throat> you guys might actually see that again on here if I decide to film a little craft video. So that was from uh, the dollar spot at Target, I believe. And then I got some stuff from World Market. If you guys haven't been to World Market, it is such a fun store. Um, a lot of their stuff is like boho kind of themed. If I had to like give a description of what the store is like, it's like a, um, international like goods store. Um, and so they get like decorations and furniture, um, clothing, like a lot of just like a little bit of everything, lots of kitchen stuff, um, food, drinks, like all from like different places, like imported, uh, type of things. Um, and they had mushroom themed stuff right now. So of course I had to get some mushroom themed stuff for my kitchen and I'm super, super excited about it. So this is a little spoon rest that came from world market and this was $3.99. I thought that was a really great price. So, uh, it's like a ceramic or glass or whatever type of material. Uh, and it is a little mushroom. Um, and I believe that this came in four colors. So they had like green, yellow, I don't remember, green, yellow, and red, I know for sure. And then I got a little crock and I haven't even opened it yet. It's got the rubber bands on it still, but this is like a little baking crock, uh, that you can put in the dishwasher. Um, let me peel back the label if I can to see it says something about the microwave uh probably do not microwave but I'm not sure let me see er, er. Eh. <laughs> okay I think it's saying uh caution things will be hot if you take it out of the microwave um but this is a little uh a little uh crock and this was $8.99 so isn't it cute I just thought this was so cute. And then, um, oh, sorry, this one is the mug. I, I'm over here saying it's a crock. This is the crock. So here's the mug and here's the crock. Uh, this kind of looks like a crock too. So I just was like not even thinking about it. Uh, and this one was $9.99. So $8.99 and $9.99. Uh, this one is dishwasher safe. And I can actually see the, the sticker or without the sticker over it. It says, caution, product may get hot in the microwave. <laughs> So there we go, crock and mug. And aren't they so cool? I literally love them so much. So I got a red one and a green one. And these also came in different colors. Um, the colors vary a little bit. Like you'll notice that the red for this is a darker red than the red for, almost knocked my terrarium off, the red for this. So they do vary a little bit. Um, some of them are the same though. I believe the crock and the mug um, if I had gotten red in the crock, I think it would have also been that same red as the mug, but don't quote me on that. And the last thing I got, I really love this. It is a coaster set. I love these. And I'm thinking I might, um, actually command, put command strips on the back of these and put them on the wall in my kitchen. Um, and I'm thinking command strips because they're not heavy, but you know, they got a little bit of weight to them because they are made of that ceramic type of, um, material not a toy for decorative purposes only um and this was $12.99 so this was a little bit more but I really loved these and I actually really love this little sticker or this little tag too so I'm probably going to keep that but this is the colors that uh come with this this is the colors that I think you can expect um to find the different mushroom pieces in so if you have like a color themed kitchen um you don't have to do red but I really love these and I was thinking put a command strip on the back of them and then I could put them on the wall. So that's what I'm probably going to do with them. But I just really, really loved them. This was probably my favorite um, of the things that I got at World Market. 
and it just feels so nice. I even like it just like this, like not even opened. I just think it's so cute. So aesthetic. And the last item I got for my mushroom haul is a mug um, from Joann's. And this was $12.99, but it was 40% off because they were running uh, their 40% off. And I believe I took a picture of the section with the 40% off. And if I did, I will insert it right now so that you guys can see that. Um, but I got this, it says, enjoy the little things. It's got all these different types of like mushrooms and butterflies and like, I think these would be leaves, like a little leaf, uh, garland. And I just thought it was so cute. And it's got this kind of, um, flecked look to it. Like, uh, I'm not really sure what this is called when there's all these little speckles, but I love the way that that looks. And then here is what the back looks like. It's got a snail and some flowers. I think maybe two different types of flowers. Uh, and then here's what it looks like. And I love mugs. I love to collect mugs. Um, I've always collected mugs, literally, as long as I can remember. Um, and so I actually got two mugs. Aren't these so cute? Love, love, love. So you guys will probably see these in videos when I'm drinking stuff. Um, and that is my little mushroom haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the mushy goodness. Uh, I absolutely love it. I really was so surprised to find mushroom stuff at so many stores. Um, and I am totally excited to put these things up in my kitchen and make it look all cute. Well, my kitchen already looks pretty cute, not gonna lie. Um, but add these to the decor. I do like a, um, kind of retro style uh, kitchen. I like to do the, um, you know how you can buy uh, appliances that look like like 50s appliances. I like to get those. And so my colors are red and uh, mint or teal. Um, and that is just kind of the color scheme I go for. And I have um, like Pioneer Woman stuff because I really love Pioneer Woman stuff, especially for like, you know, your essential items that you need like spoons and spatulas and uh, like all that kind of stuff. I love to get Pioneer Woman because it just adds a little like extra flair to like your everyday basic essentials that you have to have. Um, and I actually have like a teal shelf in there, like a little teal cube shelf you probably have seen. Uh, I use it to take pictures on um, for things that are smaller. Um, and it's on my wall. Um, that actually came from World Market like 10 years ago. Um, it was one of my first purchases from World Market. I love World Market, but we don't have one like in town or anything. I have to go like an hour and a half to get to World Market, but there are a couple of them over there, like in Houston. Um, so yeah, so anyways, that's kind of a tangent, but I'm going to put these things in there and it's going to look so cute. And I will uh, try to remember to share that with you guys when I get them up, just like a little snippet at the end of a video, maybe show you guys what I end up doing with them. But I hope you guys enjoyed my little mushroom haul and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you later. All right. I almost forgot to show you guys. I also got this little toad in, um, it's like a little mushroom, uh, house and I got this one from uh Hobby Lobby and it was in the 40% off you know how they do like pretty much perpetual sales um basically if it's not on sale check back next week <laughs> um so this was like sp their spring um springtime actually it's probably on the bottom here you go the spring shop that's what it was. Um, it is $23.99 normally. And since it was 40% off, um, I'm not going to math, but it was like 15 bucks. So really good deal. This is very light, by the way. Um, it is, it looks like it would be heavy, but it's not. So super cute. Um, for now I have this right here. This will probably not be the permanent place for it. Um, but for now it's right here and kind of with my other, some of my other, uh, mushroomy, um, fairy garden-y sort of stuff. I have this stuff throughout my house. I actually have little fairy doors like all around my house too. Um, they were at the Dollar Tree one year. I'll have to show you guys one second while I transfer. So here is the corner of my bathroom counter and this is what I'm talking about. I have these like little um, fairy doors just kind of around the house randomly and then it's like oh look a little fairy lives here.